let's just say uh, 10 things happened, okay? Five were good, five were bad. Now, the more negative person is going to look at the five bad things and, and sort of catastrophize it and think, oh my God, these five things happen, it's, it's the end of the world. And they're not going to see all of the good things that happened. Okay, now similarly, uh, the, the positive-minded person is going to see all the positive things that happen and think, oh wow, this is so great, you know, life's so good, these things happen, they're, they're really good. They're not going to see the negative, okay? Um, but there's a danger in wearing both hats, okay? Um, so let's say, for example, um, you're driving along in a car and the more positive person doesn't wear their seatbelt because they think, oh, you know, I'm, I'm positive, nothing's gonna happen, you know, bad things don't happen, everything's positive, they don't wear their seatbelt, they end up in a car accident and they, you know, get hurt because they didn't wear their seatbelt. So from that example, we can see that their positive thinking let them down. Likewise, you've got the negative-minded person that always sees the negative. They don't even want to get in the car in the first place because they think, oh no, if I get in the car, there's a potential risk that we have an accident. You know, seat belts aren't that safe. You know, the airbags aren't that safe. So they choose not to, you know, get in the car and then that's not helpful either. So really what I'm saying is that it's not helpful to be a positive person and it's not helpful to be a negative person. What is helpful is becoming a person that is able to juggle both the positive and the negative, okay? And that is a person that, that has an awareness of everything that's going on, the good and the bad. Because in life, um, and in order to be successful in life, and then also in order to change, um, we need to be aware of the good and the bad.